So a controversial three year old agreement that has one Florida County sharing student data with the sheriff's office could soon end under legislation moving in the state capitol. As reporter Mike Vesalinda tells us, a last minute amendment to a parent's rights bill would require parental consent before schools could share data with law enforcement. The 2002 movie Minority Report portrayed futuristic police using predictive technology to stop crimes before they happened. Placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Mark. For three years, Pasco schools have been providing the sheriff's office with data about at-risk students. The names are then cross-referenced for any law enforcement contact and possible follow-up. But that process could be severely curtailed under an amendment approved here in the Capitol. Parents, parents should have to affirmatively consent to allowing the school district to release their child's grades to local law enforcement. The amendment would require every school district, not just PASCO, to get permission from a parent before sharing information with law enforcement. Democrat Tina Polsky voted for the amendment, but against the bill. Good amendment, and I voted for the amendment, and obviously I knew the bill would pass, so I'm glad the amendment is there. Dennis Baxley, whose family has ties to law enforcement, says the amendment is all about putting parents first. The school is not the parent. The parents are these families, these children belong belong to these families. They don't belong to the state. I'm open to having the conversation. The House version of the parents' rights bill doesn't have the data sharing amendment yet. And I do think that whenever a child's records are accessed um, by anyone, we need to be sure that we're involving parents. If approved, the parents' rights legislation would take effect July 1st, just in time for the fall semester. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. The Pasco School Superintendent has not yet returned our call. We did speak with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, which said it has no plans to fight the legislation.